Hey, it's Dr. Shweta Yadav and uh, this is our first case presentation for step 2 CK. So here we go. The case is a 70 year old man comes in emergency department with complaint of chest pain and four episodes of vomiting. He has a past history of hypertension and COPD and ECG it shows ST elevation in lead 2, 3 and AVF. Blood pressure is 80 by 60 mmHg. pulse is 60 per minute and examination shows diaphoresis increase in jugular venous pressure and clear lungs rest is normal what is the cause of hypotension so basically as you can see from this case that the patient ecg it shows st elevation in lead 2 3 and avf which are inferior leads right so the patient is having inferior wall mi and inferior wall mi it mainly affects the right ventricle although it also affects left ventricle uh, inferior wall of left ventricle but it primarily affects the right ventricle okay and uh, the patient is having chest pain and also vagal symptoms such as uh, vomiting okay the patient pulse is 60 per minute this means the, uh, the patient has bradycardia so from this thing we can say that the patient has right ventricular mi right ventricular mi because the patient has st emi st emi in uh, lead 2 3 and avf okay and right ventricular mi right ventricle it is mainly supplied by or inferior wall it is mainly supplied by the right coronary artery and right coronary artery it also supplies the sa node and av node and so the right coronary artery is affected and so the sa node and av node blood flow will be affected and therefore there will be decrease in heart rate or bradyarrhythmia which are which we are seeing in this patient uh, his pulse is 60 per minute also the examination shows increase in jvp and clear lungs clear lungs indicates that the patient left ventricle is normal and increase in jvp pressure is due to the pressure hydrostatic pressure is increased due to the right ventricular mi which leads to increase in jvp jugular venous pressure and what is the cause of hypotension so basically what happens is when there is right wall infarct right ventricular inferior wall infarct so right ventricular will not pump so the pump will get decrease and so left ventricular there will be decrease in preload of left ventricle and there will be decrease in cardiac output this is the first thing second thing is this patient is having vomiting at four episodes of vomiting so there is further reduction in reduction in preload of right ventricle so this further reduction in preload of right ventricle it will lead to more decrease in cardiac output and the patient although he has a past history of hypertension but the patient will come to you with hypotension 80 by 60 so this is our case and thank you for watching